Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I apply fluid film to uh, trailers, truck frames. Um, this is how I do it because I didn't really want to buy the fluid film applicator for hundred something dollars. It's probably the right way to do it for truck frames, but if you're spraying, say, like dump trailer bottoms or trailer bottoms or snow plow mold boards, anything that you have pretty decent access to rather than spraying fully upside down, this is a good way to do it, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you how I do it. Alright, excuse the mess here. Um, that's what happens when you're lazy. Here I got, I get, I get fluid film by the gallon. I go to Napa and order it. Um, you get it by the gallon, put it in a pan, mix it with a little bit of vegetable oil. Just a little bit. Uh, and then, you know, use a spoon or something and, and thin it down so it's a nice flowable consistency then what you're gonna want is to spray it go to Harbor Freight uh, and pick up their LVLP gun so this is not an HVLP gun it's very similar however it has a two millimeter nozzle and a main difference here is this valve here whatever or set screw um, this is like your flow knob or something all I know is you gotta back it off and the thing will definitely spray it very well uh, when it's you know not fully upside down so I'll get a video of me spraying it um, I have a 20 20 gallon air compressor um, and I'll be spraying the underside of a dump trailer so I'll, I'll show you that Here we are underneath the trailer. We're gonna spray it. I have my compressor set to 70 psi, and here it goes. Look at that! I didn't even show it. Easy coating. And I guess I'm gonna spray my roommate's car on that too, since it makes some overspray. Look at that, isn't that pretty cool? You can change where this valve is. This valve, oh my gosh, horrible camera skills. Move this valve in a little bit. You can pretty much shut the floor right off. Now for a steady light coating. It saves fluid film, but makes your compressor work twice as hard. So I'm gonna bank it off a little bit more. And, uh, okay, isn't that cool? All right, thanks for watching. All right, so I was spraying, and then it really wasn't spraying that great. So I feel like it's my moral duty to update your situation. I added a a lot of vegetable oil. And doesn't doesn't look it at all, but it's spraying way better. So I guess I'll mix it up a little bit. Oh yeah, it's um it's much more flowable now. Look at that. Oh baby. So yeah, that sprays really well. And I was even able to spray vertically in a couple spots. So you really gotta get it to a nice flowy like thick house paint texture. Yeah, this is obviously thicker than that. The thinner the better in terms of spraying. Um, Fluid Film recommends on their website thinning it down with vegetable oil for spray applications. I'm sure you could probably use WD-40. Uh, I don't know how much of a solvent WD actually is, but I figured vegetable oil and you know lanolin oil is fairly similar. So I think they, uh, they mesh well together. And that's what I've been using with pretty good success. Um, I mean, to do it the right way, just get the fluid film applicator, you know. Um, they actually recommend you could do it with an airless paint sprayer, like a Graco sprayer. Um, however, I, I have one of those. I just don't want to, you know, it's, that's my sprayer and it's expensive. I don't want to ruin it with this crap. So I opted to avoid that and use my, you know, my $15 LVLP gun. 
so I don't really care about that, but I'm, I'm fine sacrificing it for the film. But anyway, yeah, that's what I've been up to.